Ya. Good night everybody. I'm Rahmatul Zafarani Alfat as the news anchor. We'll present two sport news. First news come from football. Real stays on top with win against Leganes. Barcelona Tam Sevilla. Real Madrid beat Leganes 4-2 on Wednesday despite resting key players including Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bell as goals from Alvaro Morata and James Rodriguez help his stays top of La Liga after Barcelona Chris to a 3-0 win over Sevilla. Rodrigo said it on the way to victory with an early goal before Morata scored twice in 5 minutes to put Real 3-0 up. But Legana scored twice in quick succession through Gabriel appelt virus and Luciano to cut the deficit to 3-2 at halftime. An own goal by Legana's defender Martin Mantovani just after the big stretch at Reels led and it kept the house at arm's length for the remainder of game. The win saw Real recapture top spot from Barcelona, which had professionally led the standings after beating Sevilla with two goals from Lionel Messi after the opener from Luis Suarez. The Frenchman cursed his side for switching off in the first half and briefly allowing Leganes back into the game. Real exciting, young star Marco Asensio created the first goal, robbing a Leganes player around the half line to embark on a bursting run past three more players before scoring the ball for James to tap in from close range. Morata got the first of his two goals three minutes later by arriving at the far post to clinch the ball in as Leganes failed to clear a corner and then round into a pass for, from Matteo Kovaki. Morata got the first of his two goals three minutes later by arriving at the far post to glance the ball is an Leganes failure to clear a corner and then run onto a pass from Matteo Kovacic to produce a sweeping finish hike into the net in the 23rd. The visitors killed the game in the 48th, having let their guard down in conceding twice when Leganes Mantovani swatted the ball into his own net while trying to defend a free kick. Real tops the table with 71 points, too clear of Barca, and has a game in hand on its art rival is it bit for a first title since 2012. Sevilla, which had Vitolo sent off for a second booking in the 91st minute, is fourth on 58 points. Barca striker Suarez crossed home an emphatic overhead kick in the 25th minute after a surging run by Messi then teed up the Argentine to knock in the second three minutes later. Messi produced an instinctive volley for Barca third goal in a 33rd, feeling more pain on a Sevilla side which had serious title ambition just over a month ago, but has fallen apart and failed to win in its last six games in all competitions. Second news come from tennis. Ace as well as Kyrgios draws Isner in David Cup tie. A Aberrates of Aces can be expected in the second rubber of Australia's Davis Cup quarterfinal against the United States in Brisbane on Friday after Nick Kyrgios was drawn to play John Isner in singles. Australian Kyrgios, who has beaten Novak Djokovic twice and taken Roger Federer close over the last month on the back of some brilliant surfing, is tied for three place with the top American on the ATP leaderboard with 218 aces this season. The class winning world number 19 Kyrgyz and the 23rd ranked Isner will follow Jack Sock first beating with 22 years old Australian Jordan Thompson on the hard court of the Pet Rafter Arena. Another Australian big server, Sam Groot, will team up with John Pierre to take on Sam Query, who is no slouch in the service department, and Steve Johnson in Saturday's double before the reverse single on Sunday. The two countries have 60 Davis Cup titles between them, but Australia has not won since it packed its 28 crown in 2003, while the US snared its 32nd a decade ago. Isner had a two-first record against Kyrgios after beating the 21st years old in their first two meetings at the Canadian and Madrid Masters Tournament in 2015 before losing in two tight sets in Atlanta last year. 
in from Sox, the highest ranked player in the tie at world number 15, will be going into the unknown all weekend as he has never previously faced Kyrgyz either. Thompson gets his chance to represent his country for a second time in absence of Bernard Tamik, who declined to play the tie. Australia captain Leuton Hewitt was confident the world number 79 will be able to cope after winning both of his single match in the first round tie against the Czech Republic. That's all that I can report to you. Thanks for your attention. Good night and have a nice day.